Hey Daily Dosers, my name is Alexis and I'm the children's pastor here at our Carlsbad campus and I'm so happy to be here with you guys this morning. So about two years ago in the year 2020, I was up north, my grandpa had just passed away from an accident and we were up north for his funeral and we were spending time with family, getting prepped for the funeral, all that kind of stuff. And for some reason, my husband couldn't come on the trip at the same time as us. So I had to head down to the airport to pick him up halfway through our trip. So I'm on my way to the airport. I have my five month old baby in the back who had acid reflux at the time and was screaming her head off. I was trying to hurry and get down there to pick him up, meet his flight on time. It was a new city that I was in and I wasn't sure of the speed limit. And all of a sudden I see the lights behind me and I started freaking out. Now I have never been pulled over in my life, never been given a ticket, nothing. So I was like freaking out, panicking, shaking. I get pulled over. The cop comes up to my window and he's like, ma'am, you were going over the speed limit. May I see your license and registration? So I was like, sure, handed in my license. And he's like, oh, and your license is also expired. And I was like, oh my gosh. And he's like, so not only were you speeding, but your license is also expired. And trying not to cry, I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm on my way to get my husband from the airport. My grandpa just passed away. I've been up here for two weeks. My license had expired two weeks before. It was 2020, the DMVs were crazy. He could hear my screaming baby in the back and he said, you know what? I totally understand you're going through a lot and we'll just let this one slide. Just go get your license fixed and drive safe. And I remember pulling away and like almost crying because I was just like so relieved and I was like, oh my gosh, that was so kind and so gracious of him to just understand where I was coming from and let me go. Um, and so when we're in this series where we're talking about finishing the phrase of there is power in blank, that word grace and gracious just popped in my head because all of us who are believers in Christ and know who God is, like we understand that we have been saved by grace. In Romans 3.23, it says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And in 24, it says, but we are justified freely by his grace. And so all of us know that we have been given this amazing, amazing grace that we don't deserve. We've done nothing to deserve the grace of God. And yet he says, I love you and I'm going to give you this grace, give you the opportunity of eternal life with me because I love you. And so I was thinking about this word grace and how freely it's been given to us. But I was wondering, how often do we give that same grace? And you know what? We live in a culture right now that I think people are so easily offended by others. And we live in a culture that are professionals at withholding grace. You see, the funny thing is when we do something wrong to someone, we expect that amazing grace to be given to us. We want people to understand like, I had COVID or I'm pregnant or I'm going through this thing at home or my job is tough. We want people to understand our behind the scenes life and to give us grace. But the minute that someone wrongs us, do we give it just as freely? I don't think that we do. And so my encouragement to you is look at your life, look at the people in your life. Who needs that grace from you right now? It doesn't matter what they did, how they made you feel, like open your eyes and have an understanding of, you know what, God gave me a grace so freely that I don't deserve. And how can I give that to those around me? I hope that's encouraging to you guys and we'll see you next time.